Hi everyone, Ciao Tutti in Italia. Welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new, a warm, warm, warm welcome. And for my old and returning subscribers, you guys know how we do it here now. Boza, Boza, Boza. Guys, I'm Fabro Happiness. For those of you that are new and the old ones, they know me already. Guys, today, what kind of topic do we have? Exciting topic. You guys know that, yeah, I bring my experience. So today's topic is an exciting topic. I keep seeing this video all over YouTube. It's trending. And what kind of video do I keep seeing? Ghana, Ghanaians, Ghana, Ghanaians. And I have experience too, but I've not shared it with my audience, with my fans, with my sweethearts, the way they are there. So today, I decided to bring it out, yeah, to share with you guys my experience when I traveled to Ghana. Okay, guys, let me adjust. Eh, I said, no, I need to. Okay. <laughs> so, guys. My experience, you guys that are new, that are watching me, and maybe you don't know how to subscribe, you will see down when you're watching me below, you see subscribe. Just touch it, it's free of charge, okay? So that you support me, so that my numbers will be great. And what did that experience in Ghana? Okay, guys, my experience in Ghana started like this, and will start like this, okay? I went my first visit in Ghana is with I and my husband. Then we were doing boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> we just met. So, and I have always want, I've always loved to travel in my house. I'm the only one before that like breaking barriers. I like traveling. So Ghana was in my list of places that I love, that I have already prayed for to travel, to visit. So, I visited Ghana with my husband now, then he was my fiance. Visited Ghana 2015. No, 2005. <laughs> yes. Before I had my children, 2005. So, when we got to Ghana, Ghana is a beautiful place. Then, you know Africa, Nigeria have always been the giant of Africa. But Ghana was still keeping that, you know, that their status, that their nice, clean roads, clean environment. Um, the people are very um, accommodating. They are friendly you don't see them and get scared you don't see them and like hey 419 or hey this one or you know you see them you are relaxed when we got there from the airport the way they welcome us welcome the immigration officers very calm very nice severe way polite and uh, nothing like bribe nothing like give me money and all that you know you see them they are like europeans you know they have this habit of development, developed country, not like Nigeria that we, 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 it seems as if we are developed, but we don't act like a developed country. So we got there, got a driver that took us around. So the hotel that we stayed, guys, I believe that the sweet me as a wonderful La Badi Beach Hotel. Guess what? The hotel was commissioned, opened by Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> so guys, let me show you the photo quick, quick.
I know most of you will be saying, ha ha, host, you're too slim, yo. Host, you look different, though. Like the other of my pictures that I put in uh, my US experience. Yes, I was like, I was so skinny. I was even taking Cipron. For those of you that are Nigerians, you know Cipron, that to make me fat. <laughs> you can imagine how human being, how we are. When I was slim, I was looking for fat. Now I'm, I've added, I'm looking for slim. You see, we, we are never contented. We are never satisfied with our body, with the way we look. May God help us. So guys, you guys have seen the picture. Beautiful places. The Labadi Beach was so beautiful. Camp people, you know, they were all dressed as if they are Cambridge people. They are. They were all polished. You see how they were dressed. You see their clothes, their uniform. You know, their style was from Cambridge, from UK. You know, so everything about the hotel was as if we were in UK. Was as if we were in London or so. But it was very, very beautiful place. And you know, Africa I put together with the UK stuff thing came fantastic, fantastic place. Their roads are beautiful. You go to the bars, you're more relaxed, nothing like kidnap or you know how we Nigerians we behave in Nigeria. You go to places, you're scared. You walk even midnight, guys. I and my husband were strolling. 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., we were strolling the street. The street light was beautiful, shiny. Everything was kept in order well. My husband was like, but what can't Nigeria do, you know? Let's forget about corruption. Because for me, the Ghanaians, the way they are raised, you see it in them. Mannered people. Calm people, you go to the market, even the market people are calm. They are more, because me, I was like thinking that Nigerians, maybe it's the sun that is affecting our brain. That you go to Nigeria, you see everything, ju -ju 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 everything is like by force, by force, by force. By, ah, ah. Hey, we're in Ghana, upon the sun, because it was really hot there too. You see them calm, relax. They're not in a hurry. You see in the airport, they are walking majestically on the road in the market. They're not, hey, you don't hear those noise. Everywhere is, I don't know where those people carry that character from. Ghanaians, please, oh, if you're Ghanaian watching this video, please tell me, how do you people portray this attitude of being calm? Even when things are not okay, you're calm, you're relaxed, I don't know if they have psychologists from small teaching them that ways. I don't know, but this is one of the things that I see in Ghana. I went to their market. You go to their fast food place. You don't see fights. Everything calm. Everything. And where did I go to? Accra. <laughs> Accra. <laughs> Accra. Accra, I think, is the capital of Ghana. That is where we stayed. And it was, we had fun. It was... How will I put it? A fantastic experience. I won't tell you. I, 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 I will not lie. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. <laughs> yes. It was a fantastic experience. It's one of the places that I, I travel like my first, second, third time of traveling out of Nigeria. I enjoyed my time. Um, there's one thing about Ghanaians. There's one thing about Ghanaians. You know, our driver, when we when he finished taking us around and we give him tip, he will refuse to take it. He will tell us no. I said, why? He said, because I want you to pay me only what I worked for and nothing more. And I was like, eh? <laughs> we are, we are there. We are in Africa. Are they? I was so proud. My mother was looking at me while I was like, hmm. So I told him, his name, his name is Regina. I said, Regina, please. Take the monies from me. It's from a Nigerian. There's no Nigerian that you will do something for that will not tip you. So it's part of us. We like to tip, so take. That was when he collected the money quietly. You know. Ghanaians are loving people. Ghanaians are... I'm not talking about what I've seen on social media or Ghanaians, my neighbor. I was there in Ghana and I experienced it. And I saw the way they were behaving, the way they act and their reaction. And Woodmire, Trudy, you see why Woodmire, this is where Woodmire carried his attitude from. As a Ghanaian, Woodmire, you can see where his humbleness is coming. 
I cannot continue this video. This is the I've come to the end of this video, guys. I remain again for your happiness. Please help me to subscribe, share, like, comment, and tell me your own opinion, okay? And experience. I love you all. Bye.